Yes, I can control a slide. Maybe I can start off first. I mean, this is really a follow-up from the, the lecture on vector surveillance. And in fact, just to lead you through flowing from the AD surveillance, we did talk about whether how to use uh, some of the tools for assessment of the dengue transmission. And in this particular predicate that Justin will be sharing later is the use of NS1 for detection of uh, dengue in mosquitoes. So that's the objective, is really to learn and to be able to interpret the results of using a dengue NS1 rapid test kit for detection of dengue in mosquitoes. So over to you, Jasmine. Okay, so um, there are various ways of, uh, detect, uh, of uh, detecting uh, dengue virus in infected um, Aedes mosquitoes. So there's the molecular detection using RT-PCR. We also have uh, viral antigen detect detection using ELISA or, or IFA. And then there's the, the, goal, the goal standard of uh, virus isolation. However, um, the above mentioned methods are usually expensive, um, time consuming, uh, require special reagents and uh, specialized equipment and even um, a, a special facility. So depending on the risk group of the dengue virus in your country, you may require a, a BSL tool and above uh, laboratory to carry out uh, to handle dengue virus and also you you need to have very uh, well-trained uh, personnel to carry out all these tests because of uh, the handling of the uh, reagents and the equipment etc so so to overcome this we actually uh, adopted the use of a dengue uh, ns1 uh, rapid test kit for the detection of um, infected adult ladies mosquitoes so the kit, the kit is actually a, a, a kit that was, um, thank you, <laughs> uh, that was actually uh, meant for detection. Uh, it's a point of care uh, test kit for, for clinical diagnostics. So it's meant to test for um, presence of dengue um, antigen and as well in, in patient serial patient blood. So we actually adopted it for, for uh, um, testing in our mosquito from the field track from uh caught from the field. So it's it's a very fast test. It requires only like 20 minutes, yeah, maximum. And uh it's very simple. You don't need specialized equipment or or, or very well uh or very well trained laboratory personnel. Um and it's a very portable so it's a small cassette and you can do it anywhere. Yeah, you don't need a specialized uh, uh facility as well. Okay, so, so the principle of this test kit is, is basically a letter for immunochromatography. So uh, for, uh, for example here, this is a, uh, I mean, a SD BioLine a dengue NS1 integer kit. So the sample will be loaded into the sample where at the bottom, and it will flow through the um, cassette. So when it flows through the test line and the control line, When if the if there is any um dengue NS1 antigen present in the sample that you loaded, uh, a test line will appear at where the T is indicated, and then the when it goes through the con control line portion, uh, the control line must appear so as so as to validate the test kit. In the event that the control line does not appear, the kit is uh, the test is actually considered invalid. And has to be uh, repeated. So yeah, so you can see from the examples here. For a test kit to be valid, both um, the control line must be present. Yeah, and a, a test the presence of a test line will indicate that, that your sample is positive for dengue. Okay. So even though the test line is present, in the absence of a control line. The test kit will be invalid. Yeah, so not to mention that there's no 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 lines appearing for both the control and test line at all. Let's see. All right. We'll show you a playback of the video.
I hope that answers the earlier question about how we prepare the samples for loading. Okay, so how, what, what do we do with the, the, the results of the test? So from the few core mosquitoes, there's a few way of processing the samples and, and it, will, it can lead to different, different way of um, interpreting of the results. Do you mean that the sorry? Do you mean that the news can be used for on site mission processing? Wow, that's a lot of questions. Okay, let me go through the presentation first, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, when we have a, a, a infected mosquito, that, that's when the, the, the virus only is detected in the, in the abdominal part of the mosquito. So, so um, that will indicate that, that the mosquito has just taken a, a blood meal yeah, uh, from a person who's, who's down with dengue. And then, uh, yeah, you just caught it and then you, you have managed to detect the, the virus in the abdomen. And, and when, when virus is detected in both the, the thorax and the abdomen, it uh, typically um, means that um, the virus replication and dissemination has taken place. So the mosquito is actually capable of virus transmission. Okay. Um, there are some um, possible workflows for, for the use of the Dengue NS1 kit for, um, in, in processing of a few caught mosquitoes. So um, after the identification of the, the mosquitoes, the option, there's one option to pull all the whole, the whole mosquitoes together in maybe like five to 10 in the pool by look, and by location and then run the, the test kit. Okay, so the other option is to um, remove the head thorax from the abdomen and run, only run the NS1 test on the abdomen itself. So in the event, uh, in, in, uh, as in you pull the abdomen and then run the test. So in the event that the, the test come up positive, you can go back to the individual head and thorax and, and run uh, individual uh, assays on, on the head and thorax itself, like PCR. Okay. So uh, a few things to note uh, when, when doing this test. So always read the product insert before you. So there are quite a number of, of uh, uh, test kits in the market available currently. So yeah, uh, different manufacturers will have different, different, different instructions. So always read the product insert before use. Some have to be kept at four degrees, some can be kept at room temperature. Okay, so you may need to bring the product to, to room 10 before use. And always, always when the control line is missing, the test is invalid, yeah. So the test has to be repeated. So, and make sure that uh, you do not use expired test kit because you don't want to, to doubt the test or doubt the essay or doubt yourself as well. So yeah, don't, don't do this kind. Okay, and reading and interpretation of um, the results beyond 20 minutes um, should be considered invalid and must be repeated. So there are actually some manufacturers that, that um, advice that uh, after beyond well, the test will actually uh, become positive as in the test line will turn positive beyond 20 minutes although it is a negative sample yeah so so do take note that the results must be read at the right time within the right time frame so and also um, it's important to follow necessary safety uh, um, precautions according to, to, to the national regulations in our country for, for the handling of the mosquito samples and the test cassette itself. Okay, some of the questions um, that, that you may ask, can you, can you use uh, water in or PBS to, to homogenize the samples? Yes. Um, it, it's, actually not advisable especially if if you intend to use uh the samples for uh, downstream processing for, for virus isolation for pcr cause virus isolation you would need a, ster uh, a sterile sample 
uh, a clean clean buffer and PCR also you we need to do RNA extraction. Okay, you can however use a uh, culture media instead of uh, PBS. Okay, and yeah, pooling of samples is a um, practical and, and of course cost effective approach for, for this test kit. So but the number of mosquitoes in the pool will will require optimization. Okay. So and yes, the amount of PBS is 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 has to be optimized and um you have to cater for repeats for for the pooling and then also for downstream processes. Yeah, but bear in mind that uh, the more buffer you, you use, um, the sensitivity might be slightly lower. Okay. okay so um, is a, this is a frequently, frequently asked question. What is the cause of one kit? So it's really, really country dependent. Yeah, so you, you have to check with the, the suppliers of the kits in your country. And the stability of uh, NS1 is actually fairly, fairly good compared to, to, to the antivirus RNA, of course. So um, it has been shown that it can be detected in dried mosquito up to 30 days at room temperature. Okay, so the other thing is uh, the blue little microtube pestle that uh, was shown in the video. So you can actually get those from, from laboratory supplies companies that are in your country. And of course the test kits, uh, you, have to con you have to contact the distributor of the kits in your, uh, in your respective country. Right. Okay. These are some of the references and some of the Groups in um, I mean, in Malaysia that adopted the use of NS1 test kit operationally. <laughs> 